cockle diddly do, wakey wakey marbleheads. It's time for the 2022 makeshift winter marble Olympics qualifiers to continue and indeed to conclude with two final tests, one of precision and one of endurance. As our marble teams take firstly to our shooting range and then secondly to our funnel range. This is how the points table looks going into these final events. Tanzania and Brazil have pretty much already booked their place in the finals, with Vietnam and Cameroon currently occupying those remaining two qualification spots. In this first shooting event, each of our teams will get just one shot at four shots at scoring their highest possible total across all four marbles. They'll be shooting them down this track and towards our target, Starting with Tanzania, they go for the big bucks in the middle, that number 50, it doesn't quite come off for them, one of them misses completely, but they back it up with three fairly solid scores, giving them a total of respectable 90 points. Greece have gone for a very similar tactic down the middle, but they again have missed as well. Just like Tanzania, one of them missing completely, but this time the other's not backing them up quite so strongly, and they end up with a disappointing 55. This is completely different from Vietnam, they've gone all or nothing. Unfortunately for them, it's closer to nothing, as all four of them miss the big 50 they're going for. They managed to get one maybe slightly lucky consolation shot, but it's a mere 30 points that sees them bottom of the pile, and they're likely to stay there. A little more conventional from Indonesia, again going for that 50, again missing it, but they've backed it up with some good safety shots, and they've matched Tanzania. They join them at the top of the pile with 90 points at the midway stage. Another different approach now, this time from Poland. Forget about that 50, they're going for safety in numbers. They've managed to get four shots off. Will it pay off for them? It does indeed. They take the lead. The first triple score of the game with a cool 100 points. Let's see what Finland can do. They're going down the middle. They're going for it. And they've got it. Two in the 50. One in the 35. And it looks as though they've secured one in the 25 as well. Even though it rolled back out, it does indeed count, and that gives them a whopping 160 points. Just two more teams to go now. Cameroon going for the usual two down the middle, two down the side. They've done the usual missing the 50, but will they have picked up enough points to secure them a decent score? Not quite. An 80 point puts them round about the middle of the pack. Just one last team to go, it's Brazil with a variation on a theme. Like many before them, they've committed two to the 50, but this time with a slightly bigger gap between them, perhaps trying to double their chances. But it doesn't quite pay off as they get in each other's way and neither of them score anything. It's a good job they didn't really need those points anyway. Finland and Poland however did, and Finland and Poland dude, with 12 and 10 points respectively which puts them up into the qualification places as things stand. Cameroon, Indonesia and Vietnam not too far behind them though. It all comes down to this final event. Since last week our penguins have taken the internet by storm. You simply love them and we simply love you. We want to give you what you want and apparently that's penguins. Cute little penguins. Oh, they're so adorable I could just eat them up with a nice side salad and some home cut chips. Mm. This final race is an endurance race. The aim of the game is to stay in the funnels as long as possible. So you don't want to be out in front like Finland, Brazil and Poland are right now. You want to be where, surprise surprise, Tanzania are. Cameroon are also doing well, especially with Poland and Finland struggling. Tanzania still lead, Greece now up to second. Are they in with an outside chance of a miracle here? Poland have finished in last place, and then it is Finland. They're going to struggle to hold on to those qualification spots. 
but the likes of Vietnam and Indonesia not really capitalising as they finish next. Then it's Brazil, Cameroon, Tanzania, which means that Greece have won this race. Well, hello, it's nice to meet you. But is it too little too late for them? The results couldn't be much better for them to pull out this shot qualification, but we'll have to see. It's going to be very tight, especially for those third and fourth place. And it is Cameroon who move up to third with that fine third place finish. And Finland's just about hot on to fourth place ahead of Indonesia by just one point. And so confirmation of those teams that we will be seeing in the finals of the makeshift winter Marble Olympics this year. It's Brazil, Tanzania, Cameroon and Finland. We look forward to seeing them compete and we look forward to seeing you seeing us seeing them compete. So make sure you join us next time for a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, and some of this as well. And that's actually footage from last year. And some more of this. Oh, I won't want to miss that. All oh, this indeed. Come along and join us. We want you to be part of it. Bye. <laughs>